Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up payment plan on Stripe. The first thing you want to do once on your Stripe dashboard is go over to the top left hand corner and you're going to tap on payments. After selecting payments, I want you to scroll down a bit and you are going to tap on create a payment link. After selecting create a payment link, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now be able to set up a recurring payment so that your clients will be able to pay you in different intervals, whether you'd like to get paid weekly, monthly, or so on, you'll be able to set that up. You are going to go over to the top left hand corner where you see select type and you are going to tap there and I want you to select products or subscriptions. After you have done that, you are going to tap on the blank space right here that says find or add a test product. Then you will tap on add a new product. After doing that, you can type in the product name. So just for example sake, let's say test. Then you can add a quick description if you want. You can also add a cover image for the product or the service that you are selling. Then you will tap on price. So let's say $19.99. Then you will see the option recurring at the bottom of the page. You can tap right there. So that will be a recurring fee that will be charged. And you are going to scroll down and you can select the billing period. So whether it is daily, weekly, monthly, every three months, every six months, or every year, or so on, you can select your option. So let's say for example, weekly, then you will tap on add product. After you have selected add product, you can see an example of how the payment page will look, as you can see right here on the right hand option. Another thing that I also want you to do is you can go back over to the left hand menu option and if you'd like to collect your customers addresses you can tap right here to collect it you can also require customers to require customers to provide a phone number or you can include a free trial if you want so you can select any one of these options that is to your liking and by tapping on advanced options you can also add a custom field if you want. So if there's a special request that you would like to add, you can do that. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on create link in the top right hand corner. After you have selected create link, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now have a few options. First, you could tap on QR code. Then from there, you could download the image and share the image with whichever customer on whichever platform so they'll be able to scan it and then they'll be able to access the pay payment page and make a payment to you or you could tap on copy and you could copy the payment link or the url and you can also share that if it is a case that you would like to add it onto your website you could tap on buy buttons after selecting buy buttons you are going to see a pop-up window appear and from here, you could simply tap on copy code and you could copy the code if this is the display that you want. Or if you don't want the card display, you only want the button. You could tap on button. Then from there, you could tap on save changes and copy code right there. And that is it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.